Hello everyone, Nubkex here and welcome to our level 60 playthrough of the Temple of Anchorage. So Anchorage today is effectively the end of Vanilla WoW. Um, Nactramus of course was the original ending of the game, but uh, it was removed and repurposed to be the first raid for Wrath of the Lich King. So the original Nactramus is no longer available. Um, so Temple of Anchorage is basically, basically the end of Vanilla and here we are. You'll see that we ran into a number of bugs, <laughs> I mean both figuratively and literally uh, in this uh, this particular raid. Um, so you'll see we actually did this over the course of three different days. We ran into a bug on the first boss and then we ran into a bug on like the second last uh, big serious boss. So yeah, it ended up being a little bit of a pain in that sense. I'll explain um, kind of the, the final bug we ran into when we get to that point. But uh, until then, just enjoy the shenanigans and the stuff that's going on. There's a few really interesting bosses in here, actually with kind of quirky mechanics. One infamous one, of course, being Viscidus, who you'll see soon. He's um, this sort of like uh, this green goo guy. And the only way for you to kill him is to hit him with a bunch of frost damage, which will freeze him, and then hitting him with physical damage, which will shatter him. So you need to make sure that you have both frost damage and physical damage in the raid. Otherwise, you simply can't do them. Um, but uh, yeah, anyway, guys, here you go. I hope you enjoy the playthrough. Let's do it. Okay, let's go. Let's summon images. Summon Im images. Left and right are images. Get one image is down. Sheep blue, that's real. He's gonna split again. Eat the immune. Right one is an image. I'm dead. Someone uh okay. someone else tank. Sheep uh perfect doll. Uh, Last tank alive. Yeah, I was wholly locked. Damn. Why is this boss so large physically? God damn. That's pretty fucking annoying. Oh my god, that holy lock. Feels bad, man. We got it down to 10%, though. Yeah. Easy, um, you 15%. I'm big. I'm big. You got this. <laughs> do it, nine, nine Good luck. Um, <laughs> perfect all. You, you can do that. Okay, he's reset. Wait, what happened? What? what, what? My character's just running in an oven. Mind controls. Let's yeah. do one more try in that. That didn't go too bad. Yeah. I think... Um, where did he go? He yeah, he, he's bugged because I think there's a there's a mechanic that where you you need to have. Um, someone to mind control but he cannot mind control his target so it's bugged basically if he is not um, uh, if there's no one else to mind control beside his target he, he just despawn and uh, sometimes he never come back so <laughs> I hope okay. not we, control. Control. we beat him hooray he's gone yay so give him a minute to come back we, we have beaten the bus <laughs> First try, guys. Well done. We did it. He fled in terror. Yeah. Our corpses. Okay, go, go, go. Speed boost now. Okay, everyone get in position. So, group one, be with me on the left-hand side. Range, get up on top. Okay, go, go on the... Everyone on your images. Alright, nice. Make sure melee groups don't move off your platforms. Range, get up on the top on that back one. Okay, he's gonna do images soon. Okay, nice. Nice one, we did it. Okay, a little bit messy, but we got through it okay. Uh, this is nice, with this bigger group we're really tearing things apart. We got some quests here that you wanna pick up too. What can I do for you? Mortal Champions. That's what you need the insignia for. 
We sense the presence of our enslaved brethren deeper inside Ankaraj. Yet not even an army of dragons would be enough to rescue them, Draenei. The same spell that imprisoned them would place us firmly under Cthulhu's control should we come any closer to him. The old god has foreseen our arrival. All hope is lost. What difference could a mere mortal like you possibly yeah, make? Yeah, so it's just a, a reputation thing, so you can turn on these insignias uh, for reputation. Well, okay, they're coming. Come okay, on, tanks, take uh, your ones. Okay, everyone on skull and bloodlust as well. Okay, tanks, you need to separate these guys if you can. Okay, he's down. We gotta move him away. There's a poison cloud. Move it away from the poison cloud. And then onto skull onto the cross. Yeah, we're feared. Okay, tanks, tanks. Okay, great. Onto the princess. Okay, good battle res on the tank. Okay, the princess is basically dead. Okay, AoE down those ads. Let's group them up on the, the blue square boss. And then we'll try to kill them on the boss. Nah, this guy's a real jerk dashing around the place. Alright, nice one. Silithid royalty have been taken out. Okay, and don't hit the other ads anyone else except for the tanks. Okay, we've got a cross side. Okay, nice. Good. Okay, onto cross. Okay, nice. On, uh, blue as well. Okay, blue's down. Good. Watch out, it's still whirlwinding. Only go in if you got a defensive here to survive. Okay, whirlwind is down. We can go back in. Alright, nice. Very smoothly done. We managed to kill most of the ads before they whirlwinded, so that was pretty straightforward. He's coming. Don't okay, really he's coming, so go, go, go. I don't know what he does, just try kill him. He's got ads we're gonna have to burst down as well. Okay, he's almost dead. Nuke him down. Okay, nice one. <laughs> awesome. That was hard. That was a, oh my that was god. I had no mana for that fight, that kind of sucked. Uh, oh god. Lunas Jill, uh, be the main tank for this one. Oh god, okay. Oh shit. <laughs> okay, well, just, no go, just go, oh my god. Lunas Jill was super excited to be the main tank. <laughs> okay, so we need like loads of frost damage. Nice, there you go, he's frozen, good. Okay, and then kill the blobs. Kill the blobs with AoE, guys. Oh, this nice one, down. he's really small now. Missed he's frozen, he's shattered yeah. now, and he's dead. Good job. Okay. You need to be quite close to her melee to hit her. She's got a big hitbox for some reason. Pop your defenses as well. Oh my god. Yeah, she's doing a lot of damage. Okay, she's down. Nice. Okay, good work, everyone. That's a lot of damage. I could just see the whole raid's health bars falling. Wow. I got instant kill. That was a full HP with a defensive cooldown active. Yeah, he hits like a truck. Two, one. Okay. Uh, 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 Lunas really need to attack this boss. Okay, good. Yeah, so I can, I can hold aggro off this guy. Okay, nice. That's great. They're gonna teleport in about 10 seconds, so be ready to run. Okay, run now, now, now. Everyone run across. Ok, 
Okay, pull them off the side. They're healing, they're healing, they're healing. Okay, uh, we need to... Wrong side. On the yeah, 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 table. okay. We need someone to actually do damage to this guy. Okay, got Lunastrilli. Okay, Zong's hit him. Lunastrilli, you need to hit this boss. Okay, it looks like this is probably gonna be a white. Yeah. All right, and this is the point where we ran into a bit of a wall uh, in this old raid. We ran into a little bit of a wall, and then, more importantly, as you'll see in a few seconds, uh, we ran into a door. <laughs> you'll see what that means in a bit. But yeah, this boss uh, basically contains two of the really pain in the ass mechanics. There's a few pain in the ass old raid design mechanics that yeah, they just suck to do um, nowadays in modern WoW. Um, there's three in particular, and there's two of them in this fight. The one that's not in this fight is um, Enrage, okay? Enrage is a huge pain, and that actually tripped us up hugely uh, when we got to Heroic Wrath of the Lich King, um, because there is a mob on that that enrages. Um, so this was like a mechanic, uh, it, it has different effects for different mobs, but basically, I think on Wrath of the Lich King, for example, um, I think it makes the, the mob do something like triple damage, something like that, double damage. But basically, it will one-shot a tank. Uh, and the only way to remove the Enrage effect was Druids could remove it with a spell called Soothe. Hunters could remove it with a spell called Tranquilizing Shot. And Rogues could remove it with, I think, Shiv and one of their particular poisons? Some, something along those lines anyway. Um, the problem nowadays is that, uh, well, all of those abilities were removed in Legion. You can, as of Legion, you can no longer dispel Enrage. So yeah, all of these old fights where Enrage is a thing, you're just screwed, really. Uh, we're, we've been able to deal with most of them just by popping big cooldowns and stuff like that, but uh, it, it is kind of problematic. Now there's two uh, other of these sort of legacy uh, mechanics that have been a, a real pain in the ass for us organizing these legacy raids uh, that are present in Twin Emperors. Uh, the first and less important one is um, resistance gear, which was a huge thing back in the day. Uh, we're typically able to get around it by just, you know, out healing or kind of out statting it a little bit. But it's still a little bit of a pain. But basically you had gear back in, um, I think it was in the game for a long time. I think again until the end of Wrath. Um, but this was gear that, for example, for this fight you need shadow resist gear. So you get all pieces of gear with shadow resist, which reduce the damage you take from shadow spells. Uh, and you would need these for this fight on a warlock tank um, in order to survive. So we've obviously got the two bosses. We've got the guy with the big sword. Uh, and we've got the guy that's magic. And the guy with the big sword is immune to magic. And the guy that does magic is immune to physical damage. And he also knocks back people that go into melee. So obviously the problem there is how do you tank him? <laughs> if you can't go into melee range because he just starts wrecking you and he's immune to physical damage, it becomes very difficult to tank. Um, and the strategy that guilds would have used before was to have warlocks tank him because warlocks had a spell which would generate extra threat. Um, they could dot him up so that when they teleported, the threat would just bounce right back to them because that's an aggro wipe when he teleports. Um, and yeah, those warlocks would stack the shadow resist gear so that they could survive all these shadow bolts that the boss is throwing out. Um, the problem that, again, we ran into is that the threat generating spell for the warlock simply doesn't exist anymore. So it becomes very difficult for the Warlock to actually keep aggro. If someone does more damage than the Warlock, they pull aggro away. The healers can pull aggro away. It's quite it's quite annoying. So yeah, there's a few fights that use Warlock tanks um, throughout the game, and they're all rather difficult to deal with. There was also another fight at one stage that needed a mage tank to spell steal stuff away at level 70. Um, and spell steal is still in the game, but it's not there at level 70. So that was another big uh, annoyance. But yeah, for this particular fight, you can see we're, we're making progress and we're starting to deal with it. Um, but yeah, there was a lot of very uh, annoying things going on in terms of mechanics. Um, but we were trying our best and then we ran into a big problem, which is the door. Basically, the boss bugged and the door to the room would no longer open. So at that point, it, it, it kind of... We were stuck in a situation saying, okay, the only way for us to to do this is to just wait, you know, a week for the raid to reset. Then we have to clear out the entire raid once again um, so, that, so that the door will have reset as well and will have opened. And then we can, like, try this boss, um, knowing that it was only this boss and then C'Thun left. Um, so what we decided to do was just to kind of leave it and come back then. Uh, when we were level um, level 70 doing the Burning Crusade stuff, we just come back and show you the fights then. 
uh, which meant that, you know, it just, it saved us a lot of time. We could move on to the Burning Crusade and start playing all of those raids uh, without having to just sit around for a week at level 60 where there's nothing to do. Um, and uh, yeah, that's what we decided to do. So I hope you guys don't mind. But yeah, here you can see the uh, the door go wrong. And then you can check out what uh, the Twin Emperors. Then there's another boss called Oro. And then Wakathun himself looks like as well coming up right after this. What's up with this door? All. Um, uh, someone needs to release. Yeah, release song. I think you've broken it. Rip. If this door uh, doesn't open, I'm gonna cry. I don't think it is going to. Shit. What? Oh my god, they die so fast. Whoa. Lol. That's crazy that they made okay. that a balanced choice. Okay, so this guy is like a, a worm burrower thing. Oh, someone's charging in. No, I'm just, I just want to seek him. Wee! Oh, that would have been so good if he would have died. <laughs> well deserved. <laughs> Fortunately, he's impossible to die to him. God damn it. It would be such a retcon. It was like, no, Cthulhu wasn't defeated by all the warriors of, of Azeroth. He was defeated by a single monk. <laughs> Out of nowhere. <laughs> oh, no, where? I think he attacked me. Did you aggro? Yeah, you aggroed him. No, I just stood on the stairs. Yeah, but that's aggro range. Okay, I think everyone's everyone's here, so we can hit him now. Wait, 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 wait. Don't worry, he's yeah, got two stages. Yeah, don't, don't, don't hit him now. We might even be able to kill him through his armor. Uh, take a long time. Okay, so basically what we're supposed to be doing is dodging eye glares during that first phase, spreading out. Um, then in this phase he puts people in his stomach and they can make him vulnerable by killing stuff inside of his stomach. Happens automatically. And the rest of us kill like tentacles. We can just kill him real slowly by beating on him through his damage absorption here. Ah, he's weakened. There we go. Now he's dead. That's good. That's good. Okay. All right, cool. Oh, the Eye of Cthune. Uh, actually, let me get that for the quest. Lady Valerie, it is over. The Master has left these for you, champion, from the Timeless Cache, a collection of artifacts spanning thousands of years. The choice is yours. I only get one choice. Thank you, though. Okay. Well, that's it. That's the end of it. Let's uh, let's get another picture here beside... Uh, what did you get? I got a cloak. I'll link it. It's uh, just a normal cloak, really. Hopefully no one will notice that we've got a whole bunch of different people that weren't there when we started on Courage. <laughs> <laughs> they might not wonder about the random death knight. In the Maybe, yeah. <laughs> oh well, it's all good. 